The first life on Earth started with bacteria. You could kind of say the real owners of planet Earth are bacteria, cause they've been here since three billion seven hundred million years ago. Other forms of life came way after these guys. Bacteria is the smallest living thing on Earth. And it doesn't really have a place because it's everywhere. You can't find a place that doesn't have bacteria. Even inside our bodies, there are trillions of bacteria living there. And you could say they adapted in our body and help us live life. But not all of these guys are good. Some of these guys are evil. They go inside your body uninvited. And they can make you sick or even kill you. In the history of humanity, a lot of people died just because of these little things. Basically, a killer that was invisible. They would die, but they wouldn't know what killed them. And then thousands of years later, human knowledge got better and better, and they found out that these little things live everywhere. And we can't see it unless we have a microscope. And they research how to get rid of them. Eventually, humans figured out how to get rid of these bacteria. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin, and this is the first ever antibiotic. After discovering penicillin, and after that, all the vaccines, human life really took a turn for the better. When antibiotics enter your body, it's like an army that enters and attacks the bad bacteria. It kills most of the bacteria and leaves some for your immune system to take care of. How does antibiotics do this? Imagine a bacteria like a factory with a lot of workers. Antibiotics enters this factory and messes everybody up. And this doesn't let the bacteria grow or reproduce. And since it can't reproduce, over time they get less and less and die off. These actions are done by regular types of antibiotics. But there are other types of antibiotics as well. There are ones that literally kill the bacteria themselves. The other bacteria wouldn't let it grow or reproduce. But this antibiotic literally kills the bacteria. These antibiotics do not damage the cells whatsoever, and that is why these types of medications are extremely useful for life on Earth. Until now, everything is good, but after this, it's a little scary. Because evolution also happens in bacteria. Bacteria don't want to get beat up by the antibiotics. That is why they make themselves better to fight the antibiotic. And when some of those bacteria learn how to fight off antibiotics, they teach the other bacteria as well. So when you think about it, when the antibiotic enters your body, the bacteria are ready for war, and they don't let the antibiotics hurt them in any way. When the bacteria wants to teach the other bacteria their immunity, they literally touch each other and exchange information, kind of like when you connect a hard drive to a computer. The bacteria that learn the immunity, you can't call them bacteria anymore. You have to call them super bacteria, meaning a bacteria that's powerful and can stand against antibiotic. A lot of people don't know how antibiotics really changed life on Earth, and they don't know how hard life was before antibiotics was created. And now they see antibiotics as just a regular ordinary pill, but in countries where antibiotics are available, because even today there are hundreds of millions of people that don't have access to antibiotics. But in most parts of the world, they treat antibiotics like a piece of candy. 
and doctors don't hold back prescribing it to people. But the bigger problem with antibiotics is when it's inside meat. If you count correctly, all around the world, the meat industry has about 30 billion animals inside cages for human use. The companies that have these animals create a hellhole for them because they keep them inside a really tight and dirty space and this hellhole for the animals are heaven for these bacteria. These bacteria easily enter these animals' body and get them sick. But antibiotics for animals are very available. They inject a bunch of antibiotics to these poor animals so they don't die and can get to a point where they can sell them. Humans using all these meat and eating all these antibiotics inside them causes the bacteria to get immunity and the immunity gets more and more. When you think about it, isn't it a better idea to create a super antibiotic? But a lot of people are against this idea because a super antibiotics creates a super super bug and the super super bacteria that's created can't be eliminated by any antibiotic. And all around the world, there are thousands of flights connecting every country to each other. And anywhere where this super bacteria is created, it can easily go all around the world. You should be familiar with this super bacteria. They say this is how COVID started. A powerful super bacteria or a virus where antibiotics can't do anything against it. Scientists believe that overusage of antibiotics everywhere, mostly in slaughterhouses, caused this super bacteria to be born. But don't worry, we're gonna get through this super bacteria. And human knowledge and science isn't gonna stop. It hasn't even been a hundred years since the first antibiotics came, but it helped humanity a ton. And even though we turned bacteria into a super bacteria, we're still gonna figure out how to solve the problem. And the antibiotics get better and better each day. We just have to learn to not use antibiotics like a piece of candy. And governments have to set rules for slaughterhouses to not have such poor conditions for these animals and to not use antibiotics on them. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment.